What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Why Body Nation. Quick update on ordering 2023s and for the 2023 special editions coming your way right now. I just got off the phone with uh, my go-to dealership in Columbus, Georgia, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram uh, South, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of South Columbus, and uh, Mitch was telling me that they actually have a call with Dodge coming up in two weeks, so right around uh, mid-September, and that's when they're going to be receiving what they think is their allocations for just kind of like 2023s in general, and then also their prospective allocations for the seven special editions that you guys are tracking you know they've came out with the um the 1320 which is really it's the super b but i call it the 1320 charger and then also the shakedown which i think is a waste of your time and that no one should buy that because it can be overpriced stickers we also don't know the next five coming out i think we should know one more by the time we get this phone call but i've been getting a lot of questions so we're going to address that in this video uh, quick plug for Destroyer1320.com. We have sold over 2,000 theft deterrent straps. I have two right here, one for the Charger and one for the Challenger. Very, very simple solution to making your car that much harder to steal. Obviously, these things are not a be-all, end-all. It is not, not a vehicle tracker. It's not this. It's not that. But when most thieves go into your car and they try to put it in neutral and they see that there's a steel plate right there and they can't easily access this neutral strap, which you guys always see right here, they're going to go onto someone else's car. So protect your car, let them steal someone else's, let it be someone else's issue, all right? Uh, and code wide body nation WBN uh, gets you 20% off. Uh, link is in the pinned comment and in the description. So um, we'll get into what Chris told me. Um, sorry, what Mitch told me. Chris is the salesman. So if you guys want to order or uh, buy a car from them, it's uh, Chris is the salesman. Mitch is the uh, sales manager. But We'll start on the Dodge website because that's kind of where we always start. And Dodge has this new tab right now that is called Dodge Muscle, right? And this is a, a relatively new tab. It has a lot of information on their newer releases. It has direct connection, which you guys know is um, a way to modify your car under warranty. It has Durango Hellcat. It has the Hornet. It has the E-Muscle. It has the Jailbreak. And it has also these new models coming out, which, remember... Dodge said a few weeks ago during their whole uh, the the whole big uh, release that they're actually going to be putting which dealers are getting what on the website apparently for these special edition models, which I'm kind of curious how they're going to do that because it's almost like I almost envision it being like an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> that they put on here showing who's getting what uh, and who's who in the zoo. So I I'm curious to see how they put it out. All right, but. As you guys have noticed, they have been updating it with the new packages, but we don't have any information as far as dates, when you can get your hands on them, when you can order, when you put a deposit down, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's when the dealerships come in. Let's, let's get something straight right here. 2022 ordering as of today, the 3rd of September is still open. Now, it's very restricted at a lot of dealerships right now due to demand and then due to just being at the end of the model year ordering cycle, they, dealerships might have run out of their allocations to order um, with, it being, with it being 2022. I mean, there's supply chain issues. There's, there's a lot of other issues. Dodge has obviously got a lot moving right now, so they're, they're restricting a lot of 2022 orders. 2022 orders will go... If it's been anything like the last two to three years, they will go right up until basically the day before 2023 orders start. So it's going to be a clean break. You're not going to have an option of ordering a 2022 or a 2023. It's going to be 22, 22, 22, 22. And then let's say October 1st is when you can order 2023s. That means that September 30th will be the last day to do 2022s. And October 1st will be the first day to do 2023s. And you know, you will no longer be able to order 2022s at that point. I get that question a ton. And unless they, and they're not going to change what they always do. That's just how it works. All right. The big question mark is when it's what date. And I don't have that exactly for you. Now, what Mitch was saying is that in two weeks, they have a conference call with Dodge, you know, with Dodge corporate. And that's when they're going to be finding out uh, allocations, both of these special editions and of just just kind of expectation management of how many 2023s, especially of the, the more desirable, you know, scat packs, Hellcats, jailbreaks, super stocks, and more, um, they can expect to order. So keep your eye on that mid-September mark, you know, 
Uh, bottom line of this video is that you still cannot order 2023s. I think that's pretty obvious here. Um, but just keep that in mind as far as kind of the next checkpoint date. Always stay tied in with your local dealer, whatever dealership or not local, whatever dealership you guys get the most traction with, that you guys uh, have the best relationship with, stay tied in with them. And that for me down here, even though I'm up in Tennessee now, it's my dealership in Georgia because I've done business with them and you know I filmed some YouTube videos and all that stuff. So that kind of shows you how I play it, how I play the angles, right? Now, I've also got a couple other questions from people that I want to I want to iron out. A lot of people have been have been saying, you know, they've been alluding to the fact that like some dealerships say, "Hey, we'll put your 2022 order in now, but it might get switched to a 2023." I personally have never seen that happen. Like if you lock in a 2022 and it, and they accept the order, you know, it goes into build status, they generate a VIN, it's going to get built, okay? As a 2022. And if the dealership is telling you guys that, oh, we'll honor 2022 pricing if you do a 2023, that's that's probably not true because the dealership, they will be coming out of pocket for you at that point. Now, if they're willing to come out of pocket and put it on paper and sign and you sign it, they sign it and you keep the piece of paper, I mean, you got a shot at it, but I would not, I would not roll the dice and and take their word for it on ordering a 2022 and then maybe it getting switched to a 2023. It, that's just not really how it works, okay? And if you're a dealer and you, and you think it works differently, then comment down below and uh, and maybe we can talk offline because I have never heard of anyone going from a 2022 that has been accepted by Dodge to be built and then it's somehow magically getting transferred to be a 2023, but them still honoring 2022 prices unless the dealer is literally just coming out of pocket because you guys know the MSRP is going to go up. So that's pretty much it for this video. As far as dates go, as far as ordering goes, you know, we're currently still in the 2022 window here in early September, you know, this time two years ago, that that is when I ordered my 2021. So, so Dodge is later now, October or November is when they're going to be flipping over in our best guess. Now, in the meantime, if you guys are still looking to sneak in for a 2022, Auto Nation, um, South Columbus, you know, I, um, Chris is the sales guy and Mitch is the manager. They have a few pretty desirable ones coming in. They've got a, uh, they've got a jailbreak, uh, red eye wide body charger. And they've also got a challenger super stock coming in. They also have a bunch of Durangos. They have a scat pack wide body coming in and they also have a scat pack wide body challenger on the lot from what I understand as well here. So if you guys are still looking to get a good deal on 2022, these guys don't charge um, over MSRP for 99% of the vehicles they get. So they're they're straight shooters. I bought my uh, 3500 Ram from them, uh, and I really appreciate the the way they treated me. So I can definitely refer you guys down there. They said they've got a, a few uh, very intelligent subscribers uh, of Wide Body Nation to order or to pick up cars down there as of recently. So that's good to hear. But Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you guys are doing business with anybody, whether it's on destroyer1320.com, make sure you use that coupon code WBN. Or if you're going to dealerships like, uh, you know, Auto Nation South Columbus, Georgia, let them know why Body Nation sent you so they can uh, keep track of how much, you know, business we're sending their way. Because this is, this is gaining some steam here, folks. But appreciate y'all tuning in. I did receive my car lock security device, so I owe you guys a review on that as well. Um, but until the next video, stay safe out there and I will see you guys for the next video.